the open data in my way of uh, looking at it, these are raw data produced by uh, individual, individual government institutions. They could be raw data on examination results, they could be in any sector, but they are raw data uh, that can be made available uh, to public. Because this is something new, you need to actually build a culture of using data. You need to build confidence for the people who are going to release the data. You can't leave the government to collect all the data in the system. The government has to call upon other, uh, other producers of the data to come on board, to fill the gap. It will bring the um, ministries, departments and agencies and it will expand a little bit to non-governmental organizations, individuals, uh, researchers, academia, to come on board to make their data usage to inform decision making. For them, for the decision makers, maybe they will now be able to get the information that the way you used not to get. Open data is good for Tanzania. Statistics is a, is a public good. Make the data um, in a user-friendly manner that everybody can, can make use of it. Today, it was much of an introduction to get everyone comfortable with the whole idea of open data. We have really wide range of participants. We have national bureaus of statistics, we have Ministry of Education, we have people from National Examination Council, we have people from local government authorities. If we have open data, not only me, even uh, other fellow, they want to use this data. You can just go straight there and take your data and use, you can use it wherever you want. So my opinion, I like this. We as educationists, we also need to give out some data that can be very useful to our people in the country so that they know what is happening in the education sector. As far as BRI, we are talking of transparency and accountability. If we want to people to be accountable, we have to put things uh, transparent, be open. So this is all about open data. In today's session, we were able to identify the, the gaps of the current data at hand, but we were able also to do the brainstorming of the questions of the current data at hand. Today we were getting hands-on with our data. We split the participants up to work on specific data problems. So in my in, in group that I'm involving, there are a list of schools all over the country um, with uh, certain districts and so on, they had to find a way to merge this list and in the end they accomplished doing that. After these uh, um, activities were over, we had presentations of, of different dashboards trying to show different ways in which education data could be used to power this um, way of, of looking at a glance of what's happening in the education system. For instance, myself I would like today to know a primary school that is, is, is in Kigoma right now, to know how many teachers they went to school. Is that particular school has water? This kind of the information that will be generated on a daily basis, it will be very useful to the planner who is sitting at the Ministry of Education to know exactly how many teachers they have attended the school today. We are also promoting innovation. That creates a lot of new opportunities for young people who are developing applications. The applications which we are talking about, they will not come from Silicon Valley. The application, they will actually come from here. I see the impact on the economy. I've seen the impact in the education improvement. I've seen the impact on the water stretching improvement immediately. I see the impact on the health or service. I'm seeing the impact also improving the decision making and overall it will bring impact to the overall economy uh, growth. The benefit of uh, open data initiative is mainly if, if you are in a, in working in a ministry and you want to have more resources allocated to your department or to your program, the only way to argue the case is actually to show the data. 
and these data have to be credible. Any progressive policy maker is actually using evidence to make informed decisions. This is all about the open data. This is all about the data revolution. Eh? Change the way we do things. We have three C's in, in, in this sense, three C's. One is cooperation. How are we going to cooperate with the others? Second is the uh, coordination. Though. Third one is communication. How are we going to communicate this? And you really, we have to foster the process and not to, uh, to act as the leaders that we don't want to change. Otherwise, Tanzania will be left behind. And we won't allow that.